Let's introduce these two players. Down in the lower left position, spawning as the Red Terran from Mao's Esports. Currently 2-1 up, Hero Marine. <laughs> he's, got a, he's got some fans in the audience. Okay, okay, audience, if you want to do this, you've got to do it properly. I want to hear a cheer now. If, you are, if, you're, go, if you're rooting for Team FX Opens, Baby Knight. Couple of people. Couple, couple of people. Of people. Definitely couple a bigger people. roar for Hero Marine. If Johnny Rico would have been here. Yeah, if Johnny Rico or Bling were here, like tables would have been flipped. Tables, <laughs> even though there's no tables yep. in the audience, if they would have still flipped them. That's how serious uh, the situation would have been there. Anyway, let's look, uh, take a look at this game. I'm expecting nothing different from the first few games we've seen. We're seeing a barracks, we're seeing a gateway. Very likely that, ba oh, baby knights. Oh, they, he pulled all his workers there together to the same mineral patch. And if that happens at the start of the game, it's bad, but if it happens now, it's still bad. Yeah. <laughs> Sick analysis. Sick analysis there. It's bad no matter when it happens. Yeah. Is, is Lurlian's official opinion on the matter. Well done. I, ag I agree with you 100%. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and unfortunately for Baby Knight, that is going to be a bit uh, one of those things where you're going to be like, oh, man, I, w I wish I would have done that right. I wish I would have done the split correctly. But you're going to fe be feeling a lot better. If but only that didn't happen. If only that didn't happen. I it, hope it this isn't being streamed to like 10,000 people. I hope it's <laughs> It it's can happen. Baby. We see Koreans do it too. I mean, yep. it's, a, it's a very common mistake. You end up double clicking on one of your workers and things go bad. They do. Now, basically, Hero Marine is here. He's chucking down his command center. It was a one rack CC, no gas. We saw the same build in game one. Or was it game two? Could be. It could be. He has been doing similar He has been builds. doing it a lot. We've cast Hero Marine now for seven games. Mm -hmm. No. Eight, this is the eighth game of his we've cast. Yeah, like we've done a, a lot of Hero Marines yep. games. Because he was kind of the underdog and he kept on doing well against Koreans, I mean, he was able to beat for GG. I know. That he did was that sick. really stylishly. Yeah, he did that really. Was really he able to well. beat for GG? No, I, it was Johnny Rico and Baby Knight who beat yeah. him. It wasn't Hero Marine. No. He beat I'm not talking, uh, talking weird things right now. We have been casting for a little while as the uh, unbuildable plates are getting taken down by a few Marines of Hero Marine. Of course, the SED has been able to go into the main base and see that once again, double gas was taken. And a Stargate. And a Stargate has been placed. But he hasn't seen that, but he's going to be assuming that it ha is there. Well, it's a good map to do it on Daybreak because ultimately you've got a lot of dead space outside of the main. You've got another nice entrance in to the natural. The only danger is if you get kind of caught behind in the back here. There's a nice little area where you can get units trapped. Specifically, oracles are very awkward to get out from back there. Mm -hmm. Now, the Stargate isn't nearly complete. We've got the additional two barracks following this up. I know there are some plays Baby Knight, uh, not Baby Knight, Hero Marine goes for, where he actually gets the one rack CC, second racks, then gas. He skips it, but Playing it a bit more safe, a bit more cautious. Only two Marines in that bunker right now. Baby Knight is going to realize there's only two wor two Marines in there, but he's not going to be able to do much with that information. In comes the SCV. He wants to see. Is the Nexus down yet? No, the Nexus is not that yet down, but he sees a probe coming Kill down the still. ramp. Kill still by that probe there. Did he? It was, yeah, it was a stalker. Oh, that's so unfair. All the gold's going to be going to the probe and not to the more aggressive stalker. <laughs> not to the AD carry. <laughs> Of oh course, we've God. been hanging out with all the casters from all the games here. Yeah, they it's gave, really uh, they gave StarCraft a few shout-outs here. Uh, the League of Legends was up on the main stage yep. before us, and they uh, were actually really hyped about uh, the ESET UK Masters, so that's really nice. Yeah, of course, it was uh, from Team Dignity Stress, Stress Casting. Yep, stress and I, Casting. I don't know who he was casting with. I know there's two other people here, but he's a cool guy, so everyone go follow him on yeah, Twitter. Yeah, definitely a cool bloke as the bunker of Hero Marine was taking some fire there, two Stalkers and Azela being a little bit scary as the Oracle is getting in position, but guess what? There's a big party of Marines waiting for him. Yep, gets one, one SCV, and if it gets away okay, that's, that's not too bad, lost nothing, go on SCV. Not really worth it, pushing into the front at the same time with the Zealot, with the Stalkers. No Mothership Core though, what? That's there it is. Yep, it's coming now. As I say it, as I say it, it comes out. Yeah, pretty much the same style out of Baby Knight in this game as he played in last. And Hero Marine is playing a completely different style. We don't see the factory out of him. He's not going to be able to one-shot that Oracle like he did last time. And the Oracle was able to get one kill. So this game is already going better for Baby Knight than it did in last game. I mean, he got a kill. He got a kill. Currently, the work account's saying at 33 SCVs to 31 probes. That's beneficial for Hero Marine. He's got mules as well, those money, money machines. 
And all in all, these two are probably going to be quite passive until these Phoenix start moving out. Four of them are there. Just going to go for some more harassment. Could potentially use the Phoenix to harass into the natural, even, but not going to be successful with a missile turret and Marines there. Or alternatively, he could try and send the Oracle into the main. But again, missile turret. Just good defense from this airplay. And the same build isn't going to be that effective. Now the Phoenix now in the main base. They do find an SCV constructing the factory and they take it out. They're going to be able to kill some good amount of SCVs here. Going to get four in total. Kill all the workers on the gas and they kill the SCV constructing the factory. Constructing the factory is important. Delaying the factory. Ooh, has to be careful. Flies over the missile turret. Takes a little bit of damage on the HP of one Phoenix. Yeah, that's not a big issue. He has managed to pick off now six workers this game. That's keeping Baby Knight equal. Hero yes. Marine, though, did expand earlier and therefore has more workers. He's got the mules as well. Twilight Council Forge and Robo. This is an identical build to what we saw in game three. <coughs> Completely yeah, the it same. was. Completely the same. Completely the same build coming out of uh, Baby Knight. He is going to be going into plus one armor quickly again. Probably going to grab charge early and then going to be going for as soon as he feels safe for another upgrade. As the Oracle gets taken Yeah, out I just missed that. Of course, I'm doing the ops. Up here, there's no dedicated observer, unfortunately. I, I like how you took all the credit for missing that. I know, I, I, I fell on my sword. My fault, my bad, guys. But yeah, we've got now a push coming in. Good lifts, taking away some of the DPS here. But with the Photon Overcharge, it should be fine to hold this off. Not enough, mm -hmm. really, here. And here, Omrin, with plus one, with Stim, and... No <laughs> and Matavax on the way. Oh my god, what a surprise. <laughs> um, of course, I wanted to point out how the Photon Overcharge really changed yep. the game in, in favor of Protoss uh, with the introduction of the Mothership Core. Because a push like that, a push like the one Hero Marine just did, used to kill Protoss players outright because they would have, have like four sentries, a few stalkers, and a few zealots, and they had nothing to back that up. But now that big cannon, that um, planetary nexus, I believe people call it, he was able to kill that quite easily. Yep. Now, in come these Phoenix. They do have to be very careful. Flying over some Marines there, not something you ideally want to do. Behind this, the Templar Archives is done. Storm researching. We've also got Charge on its way. So Baby Knight, he loves High Templar. Mm -hmm. He's definitely in love with them. A lot more than he is with the Colossi. We have seen him go Colossus in a single game, but it was just a fake. He was like, I'm going to make one Colossus and then make nothing but High Templar behind that. The Phoenix keeping a good eye on what's happening in the middle of the map. Hero Marine playing a very Marine-heavy style, so those Phoenix are going to have a very difficult time doing anything. They're trying to pick up the Marauder. They didn't even get a shot off, even though it was lifted in the air. Yeah, straight away, we suddenly see a couple of units getting taken out. But again, a nice little move-out timing. Combat Shield is now complete. A good number of medevacs, well, two there anyway, so a couple of them. And the trouble for Hero Marine is we pointed this out in the last game. He does get very attack heavy. He'll push, 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 and push once he's done that first move out. And the trouble is, if it doesn't work, if he doesn't deal good damage, he can get behind. It paid off last game, but it won't every game. Uh, do we have Storm yet? No, Storm is not yet done. Needs four more seconds. It is going to finish in time. Storm is now done. We have about three High Templar with enough energy to Storm. And they do get a lot of... Wow, that are some amazing Storms. The Zealots are still... Oh, actually, Storm's own High Templar. I didn't really get a lot of Marines with that one. Photon Overcharge now going down. And Archon is morphing in. Gets denied. And another big warp in of Zealots will be den denying Hero Marine from doing too much more. Yeah, with Photon Overcharge, with those Zealots, with Charge, it's all looking all uh -oh. okay. Plus one. Ground armor is done, plus two ground armor, getting researched. You always get the armor as Protoss against Terran, especially when they're favoring Marines, just because they have a high attack speed, low damage per hit, armor scales very, very well. Mm -hmm. Zealots, of course, scaling very well with armor against Marines. Miles Hero Marine playing the exact same style as he was in last game. He is being so extremely aggressive. And Baby Knight, he is down by 30 to 40 supply. The reinforcements are now going to be joining up. Look at the massive amount of units that Hero Marine has here. This is going to be a near impossible defense for Baby Knight. I don't think he has enough for a photon on overcharge. No, he does not. The Mothership Core is going to sacrifice itself to buy some extra time for Baby Knight to get more storms out. But he only has three high Templars, so a maximum of three storms. They're going to have to be perfect if he wants to do this. Yep, straight away we see a lot of damage being done. The Phoenix able to pick off the Medivac. We saw this in a previous game. The Storm's okay. The Hellbat's dealing a nice amount of damage though. Baby Knight at under half the supply of that of Hero Marine. Is Hero Marine about to do this? Probes are oh, getting pulled. I think he's done it, Lurlian. He has done it. Baby Knight at 47 supply. Desperation Zealots warping in. GG comes out. Mouse Hero Marine takes third place here at ICA.